Even if we like it or not, we have been in the position where we sit in a car for hours on long journeys. And to pass the time, you take out your phone but sooner or later you get this stupid message from the mobile company. And then you begin to miss your home Wi-Fi. Let's solve that issue, shall we? Before we plug in any Wi-Fi router, let's check out how many volts it pumps out. 14 volts is too high and would probably fry out your router sooner or later, as most Wi-Fi routers run on 12 volts. You can pause the video to analyze the circuit diagram. The list of necessary items will be stated in the description. I will use a piece of copper strip board to hold the components in place. A heatsink is needed to keep the 7812 voltage regulator cool. I will solder in the 7812 voltage regulator to the strip board. A small bolt will be used to fasten the voltage regulator to the heatsink. Next comes the two 10 microfarad capacitors to smooth out the voltage. Let's hold in the input and output wires. I will trim off the excess leads and afterwards move on to the power connector. The negative and positive should be connected as according to the diagram. I used the casing of an old power adapter to house the components. Let's test it out. The red LED turns on once the car is on accessories mode or turned on. I plugged in the voltmeter to the voltage regulator output. As you can see the output from the regulator does not exceed the recommended 12 volts. It's fine to go under voltage but not over voltage.
let's plug in a Wi-Fi router and check its performance. The router does not restart which means the project is a success. Thank you for watching and if you like the video please support the channel by subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. See you in the next video.